Welcome to DevOps Toolkit, the channel in an alternate universe where using branches is a good idea. Today is Thursday and Thursdays are dedicated to answering your questions. If there is something I can help with, please post it as a comment in this or any other video. Beware that channel members have the preference, so you might consider joining. Why not? Today's question is about GitOps. Here it goes. Should we use branches? directories or different repositories to store the desired state of different environments. Hmm? Let me start by saying that base manifests of an application should be in the repository of that application. That's where we typically keep not only the code of the app itself, but CICD workflows, build scripts, tests, and almost anything else related to that application. If all that is in the repo of the app, it makes sense to add definitions of how that application should run there as well. If we do, everyone working on the app can, among other things, run it as well, be it locally or remotely. Otherwise, developers would have to clone a second repo just to be able to run the app they're developing. And that's kind of silly, right? On the other hand, we might want to have a place where, let's say, the desired state of the whole environment is stored. That would be a separate repository or a directory in a repository or a specific branch. We'll get to which one of those we should use later. What matters for now is that we have two distinct needs. We want application definitions to be in the repo of the application, but also to have a separate place where we can see and manage the desired state of, let's say, production. We tend to combine those needs by keeping the application manifests in the app repos, but GitOps manifests in separate repos. Those would be Argo CD or Flux manifests, and they should try to fulfill uh, two main objectives. First, those manifests should point to manifests of a specific application in a specific app repository. Second, they should overwrite part of those base manifests with environment-specific variables. For example, host in production and in staging should be different, and those differences would be stored in those GitOps manifests. Argo CD application manifest, for example, allows us to overwrite values of Helm charts, customize, or almost any other format. If you go back to the question whether we should use branches, directories, or different repositories, we might start by removing branches from the picture. Git branches are supposed to be mergeable to the mainline. We create a branch, we push some changes to the branch, we validate that the changes are working as expected, and we merge it back to the mainline from where we start the process that synchronizes those changes into production. That's, in a nutshell, how most of us are or should be using branches in general. Now, with that in mind, it does not make sense to create a branch for manifests that define integration environment, another one for staging, and so on and so forth. If mainline contains production, those branches will never be merged, since manifests in their bit Argo CD or Flux contain variables that are specific to those environments. An application running in staging might have the host set to staging.acme.com, while in production it would be acme.com. Merging staging branch to the mainline would mess up with production. Also, branches tend to be removed once they are merged to the mainline, and we cannot do that with the manifest that define the desired state for permanent environments because well, they're permanent. All in all, if we want to have a permanent branch that is not mergeable to the mainline, we should probably create a separate repository. That leaves us with two options to store desired state of permanent environments. They could be in separate directories in the same repository or a separate repository. Remember, we're talking only about manifests that reference base manifests stored somewhere else. Now, I don't have a strong preference for one over the other. Both options work well with some minor advantages and disadvantages. Everything being in the same repo, but in different directories, one for each environment, makes it easy to see what is what since everything is in the same repo. On the other hand, having separate repositories might help with authentication if we have the need to give permissions to different teams depending on the environment. It also helps if different people should review changes through pull requests since it's easier to assign different reviewers to different repositories. Those and a few other pros and cons are not sufficiently big for me to pick a winner. It's a similar discussion as those about differences between mono and poly repos except that implications both positive and negative are less drastic. All in all, don't use permanent branches for permanent environments. Whether you choose separate repositories or directories in the same repository is more a matter of taste than an important decision. Just do not use branches. 
Now, before we leave, remember to post your questions in comments and consider joining the channel. And let me know whether you enjoyed this new format of answering your questions in a shorter video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.